Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my assembly this morning. I hope that you all enjoyed your lovely long weekend. Uh, the Heritage, Heritage Day weekend is a special time uh, where you are able to connect with your family and friends. And I hope that you did take some time to, to relax and recharge. Our assembly this morning is striving for accuracy. One of the 16 habits of mind that we pay special attention to here at WIPS. And I hope that you enjoy this video clip that I'm going to play uh, for you now. And then I will discuss some of the aspects of striving for accuracy. Did you check your answers after you finished? No. You should always double check your work to make sure it's correct. Ms. Flowers calls that striving for accuracy. Striving for accuracy? What's that? It means you're trying hard and taking the time to do something the right way. Sometimes people think that striving for accuracy is all about getting an A. But notice that all of the habits are actually ING words. They're not about the final piece, they're about the process of getting there. So when we say striving, ING, it's not that you got there and did the very best product that you possibly could, it's that you have the habit of checking to make sure that what you're doing is in fact working. It's not always being accurate, but rather, what do you do to be accurate? It's that attitude that you have towards your work rather than just being satisfied with mediocre. I don't think we ever have anything that is absolutely perfect, but we know ways of making it more perfect, and that's the striving part. You should always read directions carefully and double check your work. That way, you don't have to go back and do it again or fix it later. You're right. I'm going to make sure I strive for accuracy with everything I do. So what is it, the striving for accuracy? Working towards giving only your best, your very best, is something that I enjoy uh, experiencing from the boys at WIPS. And I look at that as your personal best. It's striving for perfection, to do things really well. Elegance and craftsmanship. Now, if you look at this picture of the sand art, you'll see that the artist has uh, created something absolutely magnificent out of sand and water. And they have um, been striving for accuracy in de developing those beautiful animals. Sounds like making a list, checking it twice. Did I check my work? These are questions you have to ask yourself. Is this my best effort? Looks like taking aim, double checking, and using all your resources. And he has a wonderful picture of the boys looking through a magnifying glass to double check that they are seeing it correctly. Feels like I'm proud of my finished product. And here you can see our grade seven boys are very, very proud of themselves with their robots, and uh, they are very um, proud of the fact that they've created something very special. So striving for accuracy is those people who value accuracy, precision, and craftsmanship take time to check their products. They don't just hand it in and hope for the best. They review the criteria they are to use to confirm that their finished product matches the criteria exactly. They continue to perfect their craft by working to attain the highest possible standards at all times. And they are learning to use laser-like focused energy to accomplish any given task. These people take pride in their work and they desire accuracy as they check their work and make sure that they have perfected the art of either gymnastics or running at great um, pace. And Wade Vanikirk is an example of that, someone we're particularly proud of in our country. Here, you will see that speechwriters 
will often say that the speech is never done until the deadline of the speech is, pro is produced. And Mario Kumono is a man who would never stop working on his speeches until he presented them. In every endeavor that we take part in, whether it's athletics or art, science, medicine, music, engineering, we're striving for accuracy and it's valued and admired in these uh, past times. Some students um, that I've come across have handed in sloppy, inco incomplete or uncorrected work. And this really does let them themselves down in this environment. They are more anxious to get rid of the assignment than to check it over for accuracy and precision. They are willing to settle for minimum effort rather than invest their maximum. And I'm going to challenge you all, striving for accuracy at home in extracurricular activities and at school can help you increase the chance of excellence in learning and in a person's life successes. So I will say to you, measure twice, cut once. These are things that I encourage you all to do as you return to school this week and work hard in the classroom. Let us pray. Lord, help us to strive for accuracy in our everyday lives. Help us to set our goals in the following ways. Make lists, plan and prepare. Measure twice, cut once. Check and recheck our work. Never hand in sloppy, incom incorrect or incomplete work. Lord, we ask for your help in this area of our development. We ask this in your son's name, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I trust that all of you will face this week with um, effort and apply the striving for accuracy uh, that we've learned about today. Uh, we have some exciting things taking place uh, with our 2015 matrix returning as old boys. Uh, they are in matric uh, this year and were uh, members of our school in 2015 finishing in grade seven in that year. And we welcome them back on Friday uh, when they visit the school. And um, those of you who are in grade seven now in 2020, will in five years time have an opportunity to return uh, and visit the school as old boys. Um, then our grade sevens write some of their exams starting this week. And the se grade sevens also start project term and I wish them well for the examinations and for project term. Uh, it's an exciting time uh, to learn and prepare uh, for, for these examinations. I want to finally close with an, an appeal to all the children in the school um, on social distancing. I want you to continue to be careful about being too close to each other. Make sure that you wash your hands and that you wear your mask correctly at all time. And I want to congratulate uh, the boys and girls uh, here at WIPS. Um, you've done extremely well uh, with your social distancing and conducting yourselves in a controlled manner because we do have to be careful of being too close to one another. Finally, I want to thank you for uh, your donations to uh, the Heritage Day collection. Uh, for the pets and um, obviously we need to take care of animals in our society. It's a sign of a society that take care, care of their pets um, is a well-developed and a mature society um, and I com commend you here at WIPS for bringing your money to support this very good cause. Have a wonderful week and thank you very much.